Hi, this is Dan Gimple, and everything's good to go, so let's go flying. Kern Valley traffic, Cardinal 220, taking the active, departing 17, Kern Valley. It's early spring in the southern part of California's Sierra Nevada mountains. We're departing Kern Valley Airport, and in a moment, we'll turn north to follow the Kern River to explore the far reaches of its watershed among the high and rugged peaks of the Great Western Divide. Kern Valley traffic, Cardinal 2 to 0, departing 17. It'll be a right downwind departure, Kern Valley. The Great Western Divide is the long arc of mountains and ridges that separate the waters of the major rivers of this region, the Kern, the Kings, and the Kauai. It begins about 50 miles north of here near Mineral King in Sequoia National Park, and that's where we're headed now. Below us, the hills are painted with a heavy bloom of phlox and poppy. All right, we're just a little bit north of Kernville, and of all the places in the state, this has got one of the best flower displays I've seen, at least up and down between Camarillo and here. On the ground directly below, gold is California poppy, purple is owl's clover, white is bird's eye gilia of the phlox family, and yellow is California gold fields. All right, vicinity of Salmon Falls, a little bit up the Kern River Canyon from uh, Kernville. Got our own little bit of Yosemite right here. Hopefully, we've still got some good water coming out of it. Uh, had a real good season for rainfall, but uh, that seems to have come to an end really, really quickly. All right, this is going to be a tight turn before I've got to turn away from the falls. There we go, and now we turn. Not a whole lot of room here. Have a wonderful day, clear blue skies, and very little wind and turbulence. There's a conspicuous gap in the mountains on the far horizon. That is Farewell Gap, and that leads into Sequoia National Park. And it's also right there at Mineral King. The area ahead of us, Golden Trout Wilderness. Beyond the Golden Trout Wilderness are the snowy peaks of Sequoia National Park. The park encompasses the southern section of what's called the High Sierra, and that's where we're going. The giant sequoia trees for which the park is named are also found in many places outside the park, such as here. The Freeman Creek Sequoia Grove is in this valley just north of the Needles. We're about 30 north of Kernville or so. Um, we're following the upper stretches of the Kern River Canyon. We're just a bit past the Golden Trout Wilderness, a bit of on the north side of it. The highest portions of the King's Kern Divide are ahead of us. The King's Kern Divide is a part of the Great Western Divide. You can see it now up the canyon on the far horizon. All right, here we are at 12,000 feet in the southern portion of Sequoia National Park, just a bit south of the Kauai Peaks Ridge. The Kauai Peaks Ridge is heading to the right. It's a spur of the Great Western Divide with a series of summits higher than 13,000 feet. Now passing 12,500 feet. 
going to take a good look at uh, Sawtooth, which is uh, a bit east of Mineral King. Beautiful, beautiful country. Stunning country. And beyond these ridges, you can see the Great Central Valley. We're in an area of the Sierra Nevada where the mountains are compressed in the east to west transit. It's where they're most compressed, that is where the mountains are narrowest. Uh, they're also the highest. Pretty much from uh, here in Sequoia National Park going east to Mount Whitney. This is where the highest uh, and most jagged peaks of the range are. It's still early spring, but it is warming up quickly. Oh, here in the cockpit, in my shirt, short sleeves, 30 degrees outside, but it's a dry kind of cold. It doesn't feel cold, and the altitude doesn't seem to make it worse. Coming up, Hamilton Lakes Basin. We had turned west to cross the divide near Mineral King, but now we're zigzagging east to cross it again at Kauai Gap. You can't see it for the snow, but we're following the section of the High Sierra Trail that comes up from Hamilton Lakes, over Kauai Gap, and then along the Kauai Peaks Ridge. We'll eventually meet up with the Kern River again, and then resume going north. The Great Western Divide is a mountain range in itself that is a secondary crest to the Sierras that is only a little lower than the main crest to the east. Its peaks run from 11,000 to more than 13,000 feet, with no trail passes over it less than 10,000 feet. We're over at the Hamilton Lakes Basin. We're about 41 minutes into this flight. Got about 15 minutes of video left. Hope to get what I can. This is Kauai Gap, elevation 10,700 feet, one of the few low points in the divide. I remember backpacking through here as a Boy Scout so many years ago, and I sure haven't forgotten the steep climb up from the Hamilton Lakes to the Gap. It's 3,000 feet and 4 miles. But today, it will take just 5 minutes to cover what took me two long days way back then. stretches of the Kern River Canyon. We're headed north again toward where the Great Western Divide joins with the main Sierra Crest up ahead on the horizon and a little to the right. We're surrounded by high peaks as they make a big arc around. Ahead of us, Table Mountain. You should be able to see Mount Williamson. There's a slew of peaks up here that are named after uh, California universities and some of the founders of uh, the University of California. A lot of these peaks were named after early big wigs from the founding of California. Uh, that includes Mount Whitney. All right, we're looking at the Whitney Crest from the west side. Not going to go up top there today. Got Mount Williamson off to the left. Most of the summits ahead of us are higher than 13,000 feet, and at least five of them are greater than 14,000. This table land, a lot of table land, reasonably flat, are the upper reaches of the Kern Basin. And the 
mountains that arc around us to find the King's Kern Divide. It's what divides the waters of the Kern River from the King's River. We're north of Mount Whitney and just a bit west of Mount Williamson among some of the highest of the high Sierra peaks. From here we can peek into the Owens Valley. Currently at 13,600 feet. Have a good clear day with relatively calm air. Good enough for my purposes. Now I can linger up here for just a little while longer. As you can see, I'm, I am without oxygen. I can do this for a short period of time. Will not be up here much longer before I turn back to uh, Kern Valley. But this is about as far from Kern Valley as I get today. And, uh, these are the mountains of the King's Kern Divide. Wind's probably out of the west, probably kind of gurgling over these peaks. From here, and the Kearns Valley beyond, we can see the white mountains in the distance. From here, I can peek into the Saline Valley and the Panamint Valleys. Now, frankly, 14,000 feet. You can see pretty much here forever. I think we're in the vicinity of what's called Diamond Mesa. Wandered through here as a Boy Scout so many years ago. Thought it'd be about time to revisit. All right, here we are. Northwestern portion of the Kings Kern Divide. Just a little bit north of Table Mountain. Table Mountain. And something called Milestone Peak. Table Mountain definitely deserves its name. Rated 13,000 feet. That is a pancake up top. You're looking at about 35 acres of flat land at 13,600 feet in the sky. It turns out that there are 20 other Table Mountains in California alone, but this is the tallest. You can see that Table Mountain and other nearby peaks have distinctly flat or broad and gently sloping tops. These are ancient erosion surfaces, remnants of level country that existed before the uplift of these mountains. That's Milestone in front of us. Milestone Mountain also has a flat top, as do the peaks to the left and ahead. And all of these ridges are rising from large benches of relatively flat and high altitude land. This is the character of the Upper Kern Basin. High, wide open, and undulating bench lands, ringed by two mountain crests and only cut deeply by the Kern River Canyon. In short, High, wide, and handsome, an old expression that certainly rings true here. We're northwest of the Kauaia Peaks Ridges. Kauaia Ridges Peaks. I'm gonna aviate first, then navigate, then communicate in that order. And I'll figure out what to say in the post. It's called the Kauaia Peaks Ridge, to be sure, and it's an east-west running spur of the Divide. We're flying east along its crest right now, but we'll zigzag to the west in just a moment. We've been following the Divide south, but took a detour east along the Kauaia Peaks Ridge. We've turned west again, back to the main crest of the Divide. Here, near Mineral King and Farewell Gap, the Great Western Divide is also now the kern Kauaia Divide. Once we pass over Farewell Gap, we're back in the Golden Trout Wilderness and out of Sequoia National Park. Farewell 
Gap, just a bit south of Mineral King. We're on the final leg of our flight, southbound and headed back to Kern Valley. We're descending out of 12,000 feet, we've got a lot of altitude to lose, and cruising along steady downhill like this gives us a lot of extra speed. I've been flying the Sierras for many years, so I know my way around them pretty well. Still, they can look like a confusing jumble of scenery, but there's a trick that helps make it easier to find my way, and that is to think of mountains in terms of their watersheds. Back on the other side of Farewell Gap and the kern Kauai Divide, I know that downhill follows the Kauai River and leads to Visalia. On this side of the divide, within the watershed of the Kern, I know that downhill always leads to the Kern, and the Kern runs south, which leads me back to home base in Kern Valley. We're almost home, and we're coming up over River Kern Mountain again with its spectacular display of wildflowers. There's so much white bird's eye gilia on these slopes that it looks like freshly fallen snow. And like all that snow in the highlands around us, it will be gone before you know it. We're in the pattern on short final and ready to land. It's only been about 90 minutes since we took off and we've flown more than 200 miles in all. We've been to the headwaters of the Kern and back while zigzagging across the Great Western Divide and some of the most spectacular country on earth. This was a rare and amazing flight and I'm thankful so many things were able to come together just so to make this film possible. I'd like to thank you for flying with me this day and sharing the adventure of exploring the amazingly beautiful High Sierra and the Great Western Divide.